trigger, I'm going to show you the addition block in Shadow PLC. So first we can go for the operation block and place it here. And we have to give the operation expression for the addition block. For the normal addition block, I can show you the operation syntax as the result colon equal to S1 plus S2 for those two devices to be combined or added and that result will be stored in the result combination or result point. And you can see the example as percentage MW4 colon equal to percentage MW2 plus percentage MW0. This is the addition syntax I am going to use. These are the memory words I am using for the addition block. And in MW4, we are getting the result of the add result of MW2 and MW0. Let's go. I am just going to copy this thing and I am going to place or I have to type this. You can type it as percentage MW4 colon equal to percentage MW2 plus percentage MW0. So this is the syntax that I have to use for the addition and I can go for the simulation. And while going to the simulation you can watch one thing, have to watch these areas or I have to entry you have to provide the data entry first have to run this controller and hit ok you can add the things right here by clicking the on the online data entry here and I have to click on MW2 and I can add the things manually 34 and plus the MW0 I have to as uh, 45 and we are actually getting 79 Okay, 34 plus 45 is 79. We are getting the addition result. By this, you can use the other operation instruction like uh, multiplication, division, and the other uh, all the four expressions. And now I'm going to show you the floating point addition. By this, I'm not using the memory word. I have to use the floating point memories. So that I have to use one thing. I have to use the floating point memories. The memory word, the word memory consists of only 16 bits. So I have to use the 32 bit memory that will be percentage MF0 colon equal to percentage MF4 plus percentage MF8. So this is the memory float area and I have to watch this on the watch table, go to tools and have to create an animation table right here down below and I have to enter these values on the memory float percentage MF0 have to add I have to show the result and you can see the tick mark on the used button and MF0 MF4 and MF8 also because I am taking 4 by 4 because uh, the memory float area consists of 62 bit or 32 bit area so we have to add the we have to take 0 and then 4 then 8 not 0 then 2 like the mem normal memory words otherwise the memories will be overlapped and now we can watch this thing memory float I is going to give some floating point numbers on memory float 8 and memory float 4 I have to use 28.56 and that should be added with 34.79 and the result will be 63.35 so we will be getting the floating point addition also next thing we are going to do that will be the move block move block syntax will be the destination column equal to source the first thing we are entering in the shadow will be destination for the move block the first thing we are entering in the shadow for the arithmetic block will be the result ok not this not the, like the normal things that will be like First, that will be getting the result, then we have to give the operands. Uh, in the normal PLCs, we are getting the operand first, then we are getting, we are providing the result. And now we have to go for the move block, percentage MW0 colon equal to percentage MW2. So I have to use a move block right here, and I am going to show you the working. So by using this move block, you can see I'm just deleting these unused things. Now it is all unused. And I have to add this MW0 and MW2. And here we have to keep in mind that is MW0 is a destination. So we have we cannot provide anything in the MW0 because it is a destination. So you can share I'll show you. I'm just entering something values in the MW0. 
by entering that will be automatically switched to 0 by entering on the values on the source 55 and will be that will be moved to the destination that is the syntax of the move block next we can go for the comparison box this is where I'm going to show you the comparison box that will be six types of comparison we are using less than greater than equal to not equal to less than and equal to and last one greater than and equal to so we have to give the example like this not in the operation box we have to use the comparison box so I'm just going to delete this thing delete this block and here you can watch the comparison block just want to place this comparison block right here and I'm placing one boolean output also that will be q0.0 and we have to give the comparison expression like percentage mw0 less than percentage mw2 so we can go for the runtime again around the runtime the output will be only triggered or the power will be only conducted when the comparison is true now it is both equal so we have to make the mw0 lesser than the mw2 so we am going to give the value uh, greater than 0 for the mw2 and making it 1 and enter and you can see the output will be enabled by the comparison block that's it we can use any types of comparison less than greater than or any types of comparison it's totally depends upon you and I'm going to show you an increment block first so for making an increment block I'm going to show you like this I'm going to place and contact that will be i0.0 and have to use one operation block that will be the syntax will be working like this percentage mw0 colon equal to percentage mw0 plus 1 so 0 plus 1 stands for that will be the memory word 0 will be added with 1 and stores the result in the mw0 itself so that will be acts like a increment block so we can see the runtime so by this we will be learning why we are using this kind of increment blocks or why we are using the rising edge contacts right here i'm just going to enable this contact by i0.0 .0. i'm just going to enable the input you can see the value keeps incrementing in every seconds okay there is no uh, control for the stopping the increment just only the stopping so i just want to increment one by one by triggering the input so that's why i'm just going to use one thing i'm just going to give you one thing that is the clock pulses okay you can give the you can watch the clock pulses clock pulses are actually using this system objects you can see the system objects inside the system bits you can see the clock pulses these are the status clock pulses we will be getting from the standard dlc you can see percentage s4 percentage s5 these things are the time base generated by the internal clock these are the clock pulses it will be triggering in every 10 millisecond every 100 millisecond every one second in every one minute these are the four five four clock pulses and you can see we have to use the one second clock pulse that is percentage s6 so i just using the renaming the input as percentage s6 or i have to place one more contact in the name of percentage s6 s6 i am going to use s6 so you can see the time base of one second and i am going to use one more thing that will be from the you can see the rising edge function from the operation block or the other ladder instruction you can see the rising edge function I have to place the rising edge function here that's it and we can go for the runtime so by running the PLC you can see the clock pulses will be always pulsating in every one seconds automatically because that is generated internally from the PLC and I'm going to start the i0.0 from here you can see that will be incrementing one by one with respect to the clock pulse it is not uncontrollable it is controlled by the rising edge pulse because one pulse or the one rising edge will be transmitted through the output that is the use of the rising edge pulse so that increment can be controlled throughout the operation so hope you enjoyed this kind of topics and if you have any doubts you can comment down below thank you